got a dessert recipe for you here today, which we're gonna be utilizing some beautiful stone fruit. So if you've got access to that, depending on the season and what's near you, we've got beautiful peaches for you today. And in terms of trying to maybe have an alternative to ice cream or some other sorts of high sugar desserts, we've got a full cream Greek yogurt. So the sourness in that will really complement the sweetness of our peaches. So I'm going to heat some thyme up first in there. And then we're going to grill the peaches over the top of that. You can choose whether or not you want to serve the thyme with your dessert or not. You can certainly serve it as a nice visual reference as to the flavors that are gonna be coming up. The guests don't necessarily have to eat it. So some nice heat coming off there. I'm going to place our peaches flesh side down. There's enough natural sugars in there that they will start to caramelize on their own. So some of them will have more contact with the heat. Some of them will be in direct contact with the thyme. Just such beautiful colors. I'm just always excited for stone fruit season. So we can sort of let them go at a medium to high heat for up to five minutes before we flip them. We want that surface to have some char marks, but also the flesh inside starting to heat and starting to collapse a little bit. So we've flipped all of our peaches. We've got some beautiful char marks on them. And you can start to see the surface of the flesh actually going a little bit more translucent with the heat. So we're going to deglaze with the balsamic. Now, if you get stand too close to this, the aromas might be a little much to take in, but it's also gonna help steam the bottom of these peaches. So I'm gonna pour it on a little bit on the peaches, a little bit on the pan. Nice sizzle going on there. Okay, it's almost sort of getting evaporating there. So I'm gonna add our honey. So again, partly on the peaches, partly on the heat. So this is gonna also help create a bit of a syrup. So the balsamic that's in the the beautiful little pools. It's pooling where the stones were. You're gonna have some of that fresh balsamic flavor. And then on the bottom, it's gonna be a little bit more gnarly, deeper, darker, richer. So this is nearly done. I'm gonna turn it right down, our lowest setting. I'm gonna turn that off the heat now. We know that we've got chari top, slightly steamed bottom. And then in the center, it'll probably still be quite raw. So we're gonna have three textures of peaches going on there. Pretty much one cooking technique. So we've got maximum flavor. I'm gonna start plating up my yogurt so that we can position our, our peaches on our bowls. So let's get some of our peaches out. So I'm gonna give each of my guests one peach each. So two halves. So you can sort of position them so that some of the syrup is falling out and some of it is still in that beautiful little well left behind by the stone. I can feel the top is soft and gooey. So now I'm gonna get some of these pan juices. So I'm just gonna tip that slightly. Stone fruit and almonds go beautifully together. So to create another texture and another little visual component, and because this is sort of a savory salad, add a few little nuts, another texture, another component there. And there is my super simple stone fruit and yogurt dessert that I think any of you can achieve in just a few minutes at home yourselves.